yes thank you sumit uh, <laughs> every time i forget this okay again so just for recording purposes uh, this is the topic in every essay there should be intro body conclusion thesis is something that will help you in brainstorming and counter argument is something that will show diversity to the reader now what is brainstorming brainstorming can have agree disagree part okay any questions that you have like one two three questions all of these things should be only in your rough work okay based on this your intro body and conclusion should be written so these three things are written this is background okay brainstorming is background intro body conclusion is what examiner sees sees so with the help of this you will write it better okay this much has been established right so now in the brainstorming part the only thing that is certain is uncertain so my first question is this why haven't the rest of you taken one and a half hour of your entire week just one and a half hour like 90 minutes to write this topic because it looks like a very simple topic but uh, the, the the problem with this is on application how will you put it okay because application is very important the only thing that is certain is uncertainty now as most of you remember the first brainstorming thing that you should ask is what do i agree with this statement or do i disagree with this statement yes so what is the most common stand yes i agree that certainty is very much a normal thing uncertainty sorry uh, uncertainty is a very certain thing every plan will have some something that will go in a uncertain fashion so let's say i will call this as a 70 30 sc in in reality it can be also be 60 40 sc yes 60 40 like what is 60 60 percent yes i am agreeing with the statement 40 percent disagreeing why uncertainties can be reduced okay or if you go purely into philosophical mode uh, like you know everything is a myth everything is an illusion in illusions there is no certainty or uncertainty the only uh, uh, you know entropy is the certainty so whatever we are feeling is not actually uncertainty it's just a logical conclusion so we are created from an entropy that is the big bang and again we are reaching to that particular stage so from one atom to another atom that is the journey of the entire universe so if you go into that that level of philosophy okay this topic will totally change but simply simply put yes every human thing will have certain uncertainty okay now what are the examples where we say uh, that certainty is not guaranteed okay again the best way is to start in layers at individual level okay at society level okay at individual level do all of our plans go as totally as planned do they most of the times yes sometimes no okay so uncertainty comes uncertainty comes in small small things like sometimes it's health emergency sometimes it's something else sometimes things don't go as planned so there are things that we can control there are things which we cannot control so in either scenarios okay uh, uncertainty is very guaranteed am i still audible okay yeah fine because i haven't seen any response so i thought it stuck okay yeah thank you <laughs> right so i think the screen screen is stuck hmm. please tell me in your own personal life what are the things that you planned you know totally be unique don't, don't try to copy or emulate someone in your own personal life what are the things that you think are very certain but they didn't go as planned as planned on an individual level the most simplest argument is your upsc attempts probably or your upsc preparation per se yes very good that is what i was going for right like upsc preparation maybe need preparation yes it's very common travel plans Sometimes we want to go somewhere. Yeah, tours, very good. Travel plans are some things that will never go as planned. Then? Uh, 
<laughs> relationships okay fine but again it will it will totally go personally right yes scary decisions yes we wanted to become a doctor or an engineer uh, then yes like learning guitar when i brought it but never finished it okay but again that is okay never plan yes fine financial management yes money money is something that um, stock market again personal personal choices right some people invest in money health is something that won't work okay good investment hmm. so all these are what just individual dimensions dieting is yes. physical fitness okay fine these are some things that we plan but they don't go accordingly mm -hmm. good yeah <clears throat> New Year resolutions, Def definitely. Uh, the only New Year resolution is never to have New Year resolutions. Okay, that's that's nice, Baskar. So having said that, now, uh, what are the other things? Now let's talk about society, family, or community. See, you people have to participate. It's not brainstorming session for me, right? It's brainstorming session for you. We will go to international relations and all those things, but society level. At society level, what are the things that, that don't work? Please think of uniform goals in festival. Okay. Just a second. Uh, the iPad uh, screen mirroring is not working. Education, social stigmas. So why do social stigmas not go as planned? Society wants to keep something, let's say in uh, uh, government wants to bring many schemes to end poverty, but it's still, it may still persist. Okay, that is a very good example. Okay, uh, but again, I, I am asking mostly in the context of society, right? Like society in the sense, uh, let's say COVID, COVID platform or something, something in those lines. Mm, again, she, uh, Javid, again, uh, marriage will be too personal. Yes. So maybe somebody wanted to like marry someone of certain certain so 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 and so, but it didn't go as planned. But again, it will be totally personal. Or uh, LGBT trust deficit the main reason. Okay, LGBT may be one more reason where society or community did not have the same things as planned. Natural man-made disasters again. The question is society, right? Society and community. Hmm. Women empowerment did not go as planned. Okay, right. Fear of what society thinks about us. So how does that affect your uh, uncertainty? The only thing that is certain is uncertainty. So living relationships may not work or love may not be found for everyone. Elderly care, yes, parents expect. That is a very good example, uh, Javid. Like parents expect you to take care, but after a certain time, the same kids will throw you into the old age homes. So things did not go as planned. Societal views may change, may not. Uh, okay, fine. Even I think most of you are getting the hang of it, right? Like individual dimension, society dimension, but um, social evolution is not predictable. Definitely, or mobs, mobs. Uh, maybe you know peaceful protest. Peaceful protest may not go as planned. If you remember the farmers' protest, uh, yeah. Uh, farmers protest did not go as planned it turned into violent uh, uh, yes eradication of alcohol for example the Bihar plan the Bihar society wants to remove alcohol uh, but it, it did not go as planned right because it went into huge tragedy some people died okay uh, politicization of a religion communalism cannot be controlled right so people think that 
communalism can be controlled uh, it's a certain that if i create wedge between hindus muslims or some other religion uh, it can be controlled but it might go out of hand spiral into something very negative yes all very valid things <laughs> again i don't want to get into ap3 capital plan uh, that may be too subjudice political financial management in shgs it will be very specific so my my simple suggestion is think whenever we think about societies think about women children women, uh, senior citizens differently able okay are the government schemes to help them poverty eradication uh, so those things will be there social progress is not according to plan yes uh, for example 75 years of independence uh, the reservation system or uh, upliftment like social mobility all these things are not going as per plan children are orphaned due to covid yes government official integrity political pressure okay now now the rest is very easy that is your gs 1 2 3 4 dimensions nothing will go as per plan uncertainty will always come into the picture okay women educated but uncertain whether she will get fair play of Uh, okay that is fine uh, even if you take kerala society the only thing that is certain that whenever i ask women empowerment the first argument we hear is people say education education leads to women empowerment but kerala is one of the most highly educated society there still dowry debts are possible so nothing will go as per plan there is no certainty right yes natural disasters again that 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 will come like paper by paper it's very easy post independence consolidation history society then paper 2 paper 3 paper 4 now if you go paper by uh, paper think about example from post independence consolidation where things did not go as per plan my my recent contribution is yesterday rahul gandhi visited golden temple amritsar the same amritsar golden temple where uh, yes kashmir issue five year plans very good reservation plans land reforms nothing is uncertain yes operation blue star hmm good so more more p post independence consult do you think bank nationalization went according to the plan was there an uncertainty factor yes or uh, you know the positive side of the thing do you, like did we actually believe that you universal adult franchise will work out in the way that we are thinking is there a certainty demonetization yes fine this land reforms demonetization post independence consolidation demonetization again think about it but land reforms yes closed economy green revolution definitely did not go as per plan right it it always have certain uncertainty factors okay very nice good china policy china policy maybe like nehru's china policy definitely the Ch the china war nehru nehru's uh, faith in uh, okay british common rule i don't think that is what that was certain right uh, i mean we didn't plan it it happened by accident so remember it's like a formula every paragraph or every dimension should have two things one is uh, certainly it led to uncertainty that means there was a plan and that plan definitely did not go as planned okay it had to be changed adapted so there was a change in the original plan so if plan a what we have implemented is a1 so so that 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 should definitely apply for example planning planning five year plans five year plans we thought we will implement every every five years but again due to political reasons here and there we had to change what we exactly implemented is not five year plans but five year plans in essence it looks like a five year plan but there were so many changes if sun birds we wanted to become industrial first then we wanted to become agriculturally developed then again we gave priority to agriculture we ignored industrialization so there are too many changes nothing did not go as per plan into india okay because we have also be to be smart whatever criticism that we are using against let's say planning commission we have to use it as a counter argument in part b of our essay where we will say uncertainty is definitely there okay but we can reduce 
uncertainty. How, for example, Niti Ayog, vision document, instead of plans, we are giving a vision. So there will always be flexibility within the planning, but we will still go in the right direction. Going north is more important rather than going south. So if I criticize planning commission as uncertain, Niti Ayog, I will justify as Reducing uncertainty. We cannot argue that there will never be uncertainty, right? No matter what, uncertainty will always be there. But as a human being, as a rational person, learning from past, learning from mistakes, we have to reduce what? Uncertainty. Okay? Yes. Now we are done with post-independence consolidation, modern Indian history, uh, so on and so forth. Okay? Did you... Uh, like UN, UN bodies and all these things which were created after the Second World War. Do you think they went according to the plan? Was there a certainty? So one question from Rajesh is, can we, can we use emergency by during Indira Gandhi time? Emergency as an uncertainty. So maybe she, she didn't plan emergency in the way it, it went, right? Like but yes, definitely there are certain uh, changes in the overall emergency also. Hmm, good. Yes. You people should participate more. Only some people are repeatedly giving answer. At least you are not writing essay, then brainstorm more. Even no, sir, emergency situation created uncertainty in the mind of the people. Hmm, definitely. Democracy as an overall democracy as a overall democracy was going like this okay then emergency is a deviation again we have to come back and join the mainstream so emergency is definitely a deviation from the standard you can use the emergency here so whatever is a deviation from standard can be used okay i will give you some tough challenge maybe tough maybe not be uh, tough okay think of something from geography But not when to, Telangana movement in 1960s geography. Treaty of Versailles. Volcanic eruptions. Volcanism. Volcanism led to what? Joshi Mata sinking. Yes. Joshi Mata sinking can like Joshi Mata sinking can be used definitely. River patterns. Okay. Hmm. River course change, unplanned urbanization. See, again, if, if I say geography, let's say natural disaster, as someone has already mentioned. Okay, so natural disasters are something that we can never guess. Okay, uncertainty will be there. If I remove natural disasters, do you have any other thought process? Like, remove all natural disasters, everybody, like from cold wave to tsunami, IMD for tectonic movements, all these are natural, right? Again, you, you, you people are being proper UPSC aspirants. You will only tell what you know, not what is asked. Rapid urbanization, extinction, border disputes is not geography. Hmm. Monsoon pattern. Okay. China kills sparrow policy is not geography, Rajini, but that is a good example where we intervened with the nature. Solar flare damage to plant and animals. Okay. Yes, all of you understood. So, did we try to do something with the nature? Accordingly, it didn't go as planned. We have to do something again. So, what is this human intervention? For example, any man-made but natural disaster, like we try to construct a dam that led to problem. We try to change the course of a river that backfired. River interlinking, yes. Any backfire? Again, Bhopal tragedy is nothing to do with geography, right? We did not do anything. Compensatory afforestation, okay. Sustainable development, no, no. Invasive species introduced in bunny grasslands. Okay, so most of the times invasive species can be used as a very good example for nothing has gone as per plan. Okay. 
Kedarnath incident. Okay, so we were developing elsewhere and that led to Kedarnath. Uh, Joshimath example is also the same. Recent Uttarakhand landslide is example very good. So please understand this part is called as context. If you just write natural disasters, it is no, uh, it is not at all wrong. There is no harm done. But please remember, it has to feel like this bend. There is a human intervention that led to course correction or we are still trying to recover. Can we say in today's Indian Express there was an article about ozone layer? In today's Indian Express there's an article about ozone hole, it is getting repaired and all those things. Yes, it's, it's, it's in the path of recovery. Right? Yeah, again, <laughs> it's in the path of recovery, right? It, uh, it's an environmental dimension, okay? Not uh, technical geography. Okay, fine, Rajesh. Can we add polar vertex? Again, that is totally up to you, uh, how you will link it. Did human, uh, I mean, human development did not see polar vertex coming, then that is definitely an uncertainty that nobody saw coming. We thought we are developing, economy is growing, everything is fine, but actually it led to, uh, you know, a lot of issues. So, ozone, polar, all these are something. Yes. Experiments. Experiments in pole, again, we have to see the land outcome. Mineral resource extraction and causing negative externalities. Okay, fine. Good. Please remember, this, this part is called as context. This, this is also called as relevancy. So, whenever I mention context or relevancy in your copies, Okay, please, uh, what I mean to say is, whenever you write an example, that example should be as close as possible to the given topic. As long as you do that, it's called context and relevancy. Okay, so that is fine. Now, security. Again, please think before. Again, uh, Please think before you answer. Security means something did not go as per plan. Okay. Uh, we, we planned something that went into an uncertain way. So uncertainty is always possible. Salva Judum will be a fantastic example, Santosh. I totally agree with that. Armored Forces Special Power Act. Very good. So if I have to choose two things, I will choose Salva Judum and Armored Forces Special Power Act. Very good examples. Santosh and uh, Ghazia, right? Yes. National Investigation Agency, I don't think so. Like what is wrong with uh, National Investigation Agency? What didn't go as per plan? We thought our systems are safe until uh, AIMS attack happened. So while we were focusing on digital security, uh, ransomware is something that we did not see coming. Okay, so, so that is also fine, ransomware or cyber. LTT intervention of India, ah, yes, very good. Same, Anil's, Anil's point, right? Uh, IPKF mission, Indian Peacekeeping Force mission in Sri Lanka, it didn't go as per planned. Okay, I think for security, these three will be top, top contenders. Uh, I will probably go with the first two, Salva Judum and Armored Forces Special Power Act. Okay, because in the experiment of the country, uh, it didn't, uh, it, it worked out, like it didn't work out in the possible. So if you can find 10 examples within security, context-wise and importance-wise, uh, it's very easy to convince the examiner. See, again, as I told recently someone, if this is your essay, Okay, this is para one, this is para two, this is para three, three paras in the exam. Each para will be one dimension, one dimension, second dimension, third dimension. What is the maximum time that the examiner will invest in reading? Okay, yes, uncertainty is the topic that is going on. Okay, so uh, if, if, the re if the reader is leading 10, 10 seconds or 15 seconds of 15 seconds, 15 seconds, all we have to do is convince the reader only in 15 seconds. So, prima facie, by the look of it, the keywords you use, the story you tell, if the reader can understand this topic is about uncertainty, okay, there will always be uncertainty, which is justified using the side heading, then your job is done. You don't have to be perfect all the time. Close, 
okay uh, again uh, some of some of my old students know this dialogue uh, there is a movie called as bomkesh bakshi okay uh, the, the the beautiful dialogue in that movie that i like, really like is sach ke aas paas wala jhoot ko pakadna mushkil hai that means the lie okay that is very closer to the truth is very difficult or hard to find okay so we are not lying here per se what we are trying to do is bring something like armored forces special power act and say the intention of armored forces special power act is to reduce the insurgency but it has become an institution in itself that is something that the government did not plan for or there were cases against soldiers uh, you know uh, like rapes crimes etc etc so armored powers armored forces special power act did not totally go as per the plan okay that's it one paragraph one dimension then you move on okay then probably you will write environment dimension then you will write geography dimension or something like this so one dimension is enough one one paragraph so that is what i wanted to convey are we clear yes okay now tons and tons of examples will be available for the next dimension which is the most easiest dimension i guess science okay now pick pick top 3 dimensions you can think of 10 dimensions i am pretty sure but before you say only think of three things only three dimensions gaganyaan nuclear gmo okay designer way we did not go as per plan mm -hmm. vaccine makers uncertainty in making covid by vaccine or vaccine okay the difficulty in making vaccination because the nature of the virus itself is changing evolving good ai technology did not go as per plan isro uncertainty till 1970 okay so what will be your top 3 picks ai chandrayaan blockchain did not go as per plan okay we thought blockchains will solve you know contract issues but blockchain were used for cryptocurrency people used blockchain for making money rather than using it as a uh, smart contracts digitization and rise of cyber attacks okay nuclear power as a panacea japan disaster the fukushima disaster in japan uh, so okay pig organ transplantation okay what is the technology called as designer babies no okay again zeno transplantation very good hmm surrogacy did not go as per plan in india fine but surrogacy probably we can use it in the law and order right okay now i think uh, all of you got various dimensions you can write a wonderful essay i will appreciate it if you actually take the time and write it right so that is point number 1 now comes the difficult part what is the scope for the essay how do i make this essay more broader how do i convey the examiner that i understood the topic by a fine uh, like i have given you enough scope like you know uncertainty is there just like you, our upsc preparation uh, uncertainty will always be there fine good now what what next what are the three or two most important questions that we can ask in this essay consequences of uncertainty how to reduce uncertainty why uncertainty is there why okay uncertainty can be reduced is uncertainty always bad okay
how to reduce uh, um, how to embrace certainty okay steps to overcome uncertainty now it's a common consensus in the group right uh, like there is no way that we can never have uncertainties we have to accept that uncertainty is a part of life uncertainty is the part of that system it's it's a design not an accident okay what is post certainty if all if at all all is achieved okay some aspects where certainty like death climate change these are certain okay waves natural disasters these are this these things will always be there so our plan is how to reduce the uncertainty okay why the desire for certainty okay that is a nice question we have to move out of comfort zone okay so why do we love certainty why 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 do we cling to certainty okay so some people are interpreting this as comfort zone okay certainty is part of life so is uncertainty okay so if certainty is comfort zone uncertainty is uh, your let's say growth zone or risk zone so sometimes only by entering or venturing into uncertainty we will come to know how, how strong are we right why fear from uncertainty is yes, very good okay Let's say for example uh, we'll take indian army as an example indian army knows that there is a possibility of two and a front war that is one is pakistan the other one is china the other one is internal security so there is always a probability of two and of front war indian indian army is always ready for this kind of uncertainty okay they are aware of uncertainty so being aware of uncertainty is the first thing that will make you ready for the two and of front war so awareness is very important so awareness comes from the question why uh, why do we fear uncertainty is uncertainty always bad here indian army is using uncertainty to prepare itself okay by investing in latest technology we are getting ready to reduce the uncertainty okay so should we always keep on fearing uncertainty like why uncertainty or why comfort zone is good because comfort zone brings peace okay but smooth seas don't make good sailors okay so why fear from uncertainty because uncertainty means risk uncertainty means unknown things so as a human being we are always afraid of unknown things okay what if we are uncertain that that, that is example government jobs okay <laughs> again what is supposed to be certain like stable jobs these people have made it into a joke because of the delayed process preparing for the worst while hoping for the best hmm, okay now is this all uh, the scope is fine are all of you are satisfied with the th top three questions why is there uncertainty is uncertainty bad how to reduce uncertainty okay uncertainty makes us feel powerless Mm, okay yeah good so can i say uncertainty is not a bad thing let's say a woman a empowered woman is an uncertain thing for a patriarchal society opportunities are uncertain okay mm. right now within these three dimension which is the broadest which which one have the more scope why certainty is good why is it always bad or how to reduce uncertainty uncertainty is not bad is broadest mm -hmm. we are afraid of uncertainty like ai taking our jobs okay how to tackle uncertainty how to reduce okay so always bad one why dimension hmm, i think there is no consensus in the group so why certainty is good or good you can argue or here you can focus more on why uncertainty is always not bad thing these two things can be clubbed into one 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 to two dimensions 
i think this will have good amount of analysis right it will showcase your originality because no two people understands uh, uncertainty in the same way right so people can always use their own personal examples or analysis or analytical ability to convince that we can fight the uncertainty how to reduce un uncertainty will showcase your original thinking you can bring in examples from your own life or your own thought process and try to justify how to reduce uncertainty the time to repair roof is when the sun is shining okay yeah we can do that how to reduce and past examples is yes, how to reduce now please tell me how to reduce we can fight it via nishkama karma when no expectation is there so okay again sumit let's imagine you are the district collector of an area okay please uh, don't don't type any messages just think about it sumit is the district magistrate of a particular area there there is a huge uh, covid spike okay now you are told to give go for vaccination okay so sumit is supposed to give vaccination to that entire village or some people so that uh, he can control the spike or in future he will reduce the spread so one job is to reduce the spread second one is to vaccinate as many people as possible think this is the plan as the topic says nothing will go as per plan sumit will face lot of issues lot of difficulties now he is saying nishkama karma uh, will reduce the uncertainty okay i personally have some issues with that statement uh, do you see any contradiction or is it still the same just because you are doing your job will reduce the uncertainty or is it a valid statement others please think about it so he has to reduce the spike he also has to increase the vaccination both of them are not going to work as it is because let's say there is a vaccine hesitancy there is a superstition there is a religious belief uh, there is a fake news that has been spread there are so many things that will throw spanners into this sumit's plan to get people vaccinated okay so sumit cannot control what he cannot see right so there are unknown unknowns there are known unknowns so what we are discussing here is unknown unknown we don't even know why the villagers are not even getting vaccinated if i don't even know why they are not getting vaccinated can i control that situation so known 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 unknown 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 Yes, on an individual level, it might work. Uncertainty creates innovation. Okay, yes, proper analysis must be done, like potential expected problems. Okay, being aware, being proactive, planning short term and long term. Okay, like my question is Nishkama Karma. Not getting attached and doing your job will reduce uncertainty. Anuj, that is a problem, right? Planning and right execution. You can plan, but it won't go as per plan. There will always be certain uncertainties. But eventually leads to effective control. But thinking about the result beforehand might be hinder my ability. Okay, fine. Adapt an open-minded approach. Okay, fine. So, uh, can, can, can we... Can we bring in a simple term called as cross-disciplinary knowledge? Okay, will cross-disciplinary knowledge reduce uncertainty? Karma should be nishkama, but there should be a clear vision. Yes, yes, AI to use to predict. Okay, that is fine. What is cross-disciplinary knowledge? Sometimes the things that we learn elsewhere in a different field can be applied into this field. Uh, let's say you are an UPSA aspirant. Okay, uh, it, there are a lot of uncertainties. Okay, so this is again just for your understanding sake. I'm not saying this is the only path. Please understand. Okay, take risk. If not succeed, move on and then apply in the experience next time. Sometimes life may or may not give you second chances. That is also a very valid point. So the most common consensus here is uh, do X 
Okay, if the result is positive, then it's fine. If the result is negative, learn from it, go back and do it better. Okay, so that is fine. Hmm. Sometimes uh, what we can do is use empirical data. Everything has to be timed. Everything has to be brought under certain data. So the most important focus in my mind is to create that awareness. More data I have, what gets measured gets improved. All right. So empirical data in the sense, what gets measured gets improved. The more you know about a lot of things, for example, uh, Again, as I said, in somebody's evaluation, if you take about ISRA, ISRO, sorry, or NASA, I think they will do thousands, if not hundreds of tests for everything, right? Like the, everything goes to thousands and thousands of planning. There is, yes, there is definitely participative planning, uh, but everything is measured, everything is tested. So everywhere there is a scope for uncertainty, I plan it out, I try to think of it, okay? I will try to reduce it as much as, plan, uh, as, much as possible. Only then it will work, right? So my, my, my reason here is, you are a district collector, so because you have access to so much manpower, so much talent, you can bring in as much data as possible, try to think of every dimension. So if this is you, you can think of, every dimension, even then certain uncertain things will be there, but you will reduce them by 90%. Even if you do this, you are a huge success, right? It's the bullet that you don't see coming that hits you, okay? But we have to reduce the areas where the bullet will come from. Experimenting in peace times, yes, okay, fine. Okay. Participative planning will also reduce uncertainties because the the policy maker and the policy user or the policy implementer, everybody has to be on board. Only then we can reduce uncertainties. If somebody is making uh, plans from Delhi, it may not work in a re remote village in uh, Telangana or uh, in uh, Tamil Nadu. Yes, sandbox pilot projects, yes, definitely. Very good sandbox. For example, what RBI is doing is for uh, CBI, uh, CBDC, fintech companies, and all these things is to reduce the uncertainties. Stakeholder consultation is very good. Here, I want you to think like a DM, district magistrate, so that you will just write that towards the conclusion part or towards the solution part saying how to bring everyone onto the fold, reduce as much as uncertainties as possible, make everybody a stakeholder so that even they will give you the blind spots because blind spots are not good for administration. Capacity building in nation, locals, okay. Community participation, definitely. So more blind spots we know, less uncertainties. More blind spots, more uncertainties. Less blind spots, less uncertainty. Yes. You, you can also bring in the Swachh Bharat Abhyan as an example, right? Swachh Bharat, there was too much uncertainty in Swachh Bharat Abhyan. Will this work? Will people change? Will the behaviors change? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. For example, the most famous example is uh, the guards. Uh, in uh, Varanasi, okay. Varanasi guards are very famous, okay. They are both religiously important and Swachh Bharat Abhyan is also very important. There was too much uncertainty whether it will work or not. But only by testing, by, by bringing in lights, by bringing in, you know, community awareness, community participation, they made sure that, yes, uh, the guards are now uh, open defecation free. Uh, the, they have been properly implemented. So, as a, as a policy maker, you will always find uncertainties. Yes? Yes. Yes, whole of society approach, Jitender, definitely. Performance-based budgeting, better incentive for stakeholders, more uncertainty, okay. Did you understand what I tried to convey? So slowly we moved to a part where we started living with uncertainty. We started accepting that uncertainty is normal thing. Okay, it's not something new. As a district collector, when you take your call, okay, there will always be a surprise for you, right? Somebody did something, some issue came up, some minister is coming, some protocol has to be maintained. So uncertainty is a part of your life. It, it, it is like, you know, a Wi-Fi, it will always be there with you. Okay, but the thing is how well, instead of reacting, how proactive are you in reducing the uncertainty? And sometimes, 
yes uh, how how calm are you in accepting the fact that, okay something didn't go as planned it backfired we have to do the course correction so course correction is also very important to approach the uncertainties yes spiritual thinking okay I didn't get that spiritual thinking part. But course correction is also important for handling the uncertain things. Developing emotional intelligence. Yes, the ethical jargon we can bring in. Where you have to be ready for any kind of backfiring, you have to handle it. The worst, the best example in the modern times is, you know, the Uri attacks, etc. Where instead of losing the calmness, uh, I mean, the government reacted in a very strategic way. It sent a, a very strong message uh, to the enemy. Yes, floods, natural disasters. So sometimes these things can be handled. Intro, body, conclusion, certainty, uncertainty. I hope all of you are clear in the towards the conclusion part. Learning from others, it can be reduced def definitely. By living in Madhyama Marga, you can reduce uncertainty. Yes, that is what I am trying to tell you, Rajesh. By living in Madhyama Marga or uh, by following Purushartha Dharma, that, that is implementing anything and everything through Dharma. Okay. So Purushartha says what? You have Dharma. Okay. Everything that is Kama and Artha. That means as long as you do things in a dharmic way. Here, kama means not only sexual desires and all those things. It is any kind of desires, any kind of material things. Okay, as long as you uh, as you have the right kind of desire towards things, that is the dharmic path. Okay, kama and artha. Artha here means money or material possessions or anything. Okay, these two things, as as long as you do in the dharmic path, will lead to. Moksha. Okay. So as long as Dharma Rakshat Rakshita, right? That means as long as you you uh, do things in a dharmic way, you should be safe. There will be less uncertainty. The moment you go out of your dharma or the dharmic path, okay, if, if this is the road, if you go somewhere here, uncertainty will be there. But the elders, the wise people have said this is the path. Okay. Walk in this path, you should be safe. Okay, this is what Buddha also called as middle path, right? Keep keep it safe. Aristotle also says the same thing that you have to maintain, uh, you know, in in the middle path so that you'll be safe. So anything extreme is uncertain, but certain sometimes you have to go out of the standard things like sati and all those things. But most of the times, if you maintain the dharmic path or the middle path, the golden mean is exactly, uh, you should be safe. Right. So in life, uncertainties come when you go to the fringe areas or the risky areas. Sometimes it is needed. Sometimes it is not needed. For a normal man, as long as he's following the golden mean, he should be safe without any larger uncertainties. We might find it a very boring life, but he's having a very peaceful life. Yes. Develop. Okay. When we write the points like participative planning, reduce uncertainty, we need to write examples from GS1234. Yes, definitely you can say, uh, you, you have to justify, right? If you just write participative planning, it is not going to work. Uh, mm, for example, you can use animal conservation uh, where uh, the local uh, Assam, uh, recently Assam was in the news, right? Zero poaching of rhinos. Community help was a huge factor in that. So we have reduced the uncertainties of rhinos future by participative planning, by inculcating the locals, by creating a whole case study around the Assam protection of the rhinos. The same example is emulated in uh, Telangana. Chinchu tribals are also used in the protection of tigers in Gir forest. So, so, so many examples. Do you agree with that path, the golden mean path? I mean, uh, towards the conclusion, can you think of any better conclusion? Again, please don't think that my conclusion or my parts are only the right things. I'm just here to give you the right path. I want you to think in the right direction. Okay, that is all. You can do better than me. Yes. Maybe you are the next Apurva Pandey. I want you to score 175 so that one day in these classes, I will discuss your copy. So I don't want to limit your uh, creativity. If you think of anything better, do let me know. 
Kerala government buffer zone will come in the example of golden mean. Gandhi theory of purity of means. Uh, again, the means should be as good as the ends, right? Hmm. Again, yes, again, if you go to the virtue ethics, as long as you are a virtuous person, you will follow the right path, you will be safe, uncertainties will come down. But for innovative solutions out of the box approach towards unforeseen circumstances, would Majjama Marka work? Ex exactly. Sumit, uh, that is a very good question. Uh, innovative and out of the box solutions has to be brought out. Okay. But Majjama Marga is for masses. Like Majjama Marga is for majority of us. Okay. But uh, out of box solutions are for once or twice. Right. It, it cannot be the norm. Right. Every time it doesn't work. Uh, especially as an administrator, piecemeal approaches are always good, right? Rather than out-of-box solution. You take the exam example of UPI. It slowly took off on an organic fashion. EIA. You can write both. In conclusion, can be around uncertainty is part and parcel of life. This definitely, we need to reduce it. Simple. In simple words, in nutshell, Or you can go into hyper philosophy mode and say there is no such thing as uh, certainty, uncertainty. Everything is Maya, okay? Which is which is again something that I will personally avoid. Okay, all this is illusion. No, as for a normal human being, uncertainty has to be reduced. That has to be the conclusion. Good. This this part, Rajni, will be covered in the body, right? Uncertainty brings opportunity. As Sumit was saying, sometimes uncertainty, like COVID example, COVID, COVID led to creation of, uh, you know, the portals like COVID, which we are planning now to expand to a lot many services, okay? So sometimes uncertainty forces the entire society, entire humanity uh, to work in new directions, to bring in new collaborations. So uncertainty is not always bad. Okay, uncertainty leads to, see, for example, uncertainty in the supply chains due to Russia, Ukraine war led to realization of India that we need to go for China plus one policy or we need to have alternative supply chains. So uncertainty per se is not a bad thing, but this is something that we will cover in the body part only, not towards the conclusion. Uncertainty is bad, uncertainty is good. Good, how? The Russia, Ukraine war example or something, okay. Uh, e e even if you think about it, uh, uh, the the peace, uh, the uns, the uh, the fragile peace in Second World War, which was broken due to the nuclear weapons, led to a seventy year peace in the world, more or less. It led to the creation of UN. The world, the people are not so willing to use nuclear weapons. So some things which are not certain, uncertainty sometimes bring long lasting peace or better solutions. COVID has changed our behavioral habits. People are looking life at a different perspectives because of COVID. Yes. So there are so many things that uncertainty will bring. As, as some people have interpreted, if it is outside comfort zone, it's always good to go outside comfort zone or most of the times. But as long as you stay in the comfort zone, because of good things, you'll be happy. But bad things, comfort zone, like procrastination, uh, that, that Wally movie where everybody will become lethargic, all those kind of comfort zones are not good. Okay, you have to go out of your comfort zone. But that is what... It goes into the body part, not the conclusion. Conclusion is, as a human race, we can always reduce uncertainty and it will definitely work. You can bring in the simple, simple things like road accidents. Road accidents are uncertain things, right? Uh, every day, 400 people are dying on Indian roads. Okay, 1.5 lakh people are dying on Indian roads because of uncertainties. So there is no guarantee that if somebody leaves the home, he will come back. As, as, a, as a policy maker, as a civil service aspirant, don't you think we can reduce that number by a huge thing? Yes. So how do we reduce that uncertainty? We can bring in good Samaritan law by Supreme Court. We can bring in the golden hour. We can bring in the uh, you know airbags, safety measures that are introduced. Okay. Yes. So I hope that that road accident example will uh, mean. Yes, go with golden mean to avoid uncertainty, but always be ready to make uh, 
uh, always be ready to take opportunities if uncertainty is giving you or get stronger if uncertainty is fo forcing you. Both are true, right? Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. If we lose, we have to get stronger. If we win, uh, we have to take that opportunities. But be prepared. There, I think Nishkama Karma will work nicely. If you are if you are strong on your own, uh, then in such situations of yes or no, you will be working with Nishkama Karma. Yes. Yeah. It it would be even more nice. I mean, generally speaking, it will be even more nice if you have written this essay and attended the session because it will it will give you the insights like what is the difference in my brainstorming and what collectively all of us are doing here. Because the struggle is brainstorming to one and a, one hour of writing is a challenge. In conclusion, can we write about spiritual angle, material things, thinking about uncertainty? If you work out without any results, outcome will be like that. Yes, as long as, as I said, you can bring in Nishkama Karma, thereby saying, I don't care whether it's certain or uncertain, I'm supposed to do my job, I have done my job. But again, you should not sound like a fatalist, like uh, that Q Sera Sera, what, what, will, what is supposed to happen will happen, our destiny is pre-written, so there is no uncertainty, it actually worked as per plan. Uh, if you go into Taoism or Confucianism, uh, they will also say the same thing. Uh, you know, the Taoism says you are like a zigzag puzzle. You will exactly fit where you are supposed to fit. So there is no such thing as uncertainty. What looked like uncertainty is also a greater plan in the larger scheme of things. That means in, even in the chaos, you exactly have a role to play. So you should not sound too, uh, you know, uh, like fatal, uh, you know, uh, uh, in those lines, like, predestiny and all those things but you get the idea right suraj okay. yeah so i hope the movie names i say that the philosophies or whatever quotes we are discussing you can you can bring in all those things into the copy mm. if example saudi arabia diversifying their investments promoting tourism Uncertainty now I will drive. Our Indian example always better, such as India diversifying oil suppliers. If we have the luxury to concise them into one paragraph, both are fantastic examples. Maybe I will go with the Indian example. To reduce the uncertainty, India is choosing uh, you know, energy security from different factors. Not only that, we are also pushing towards green energy, renewable energy, and all those things. So the scope is more for Indian example rather than the Saudi example. Because the next paragraph I will write is about green energy, hydrogen. Yeah. So again, statutory disclaimer for every class, write to improve, only when you write, you will improve. All these sessions will not help you if you don't write. Guaranteed. The, the funny part will be one year down the line, if you by mistake any made any running notes or something like this, when you come back and look at this, says, oh, this is my handwriting. I have made notes on this particular topic. I don't even remember. Okay, it will be so funny because uh, you, you don't even remember you have spent one hour thinking about this topic. But if you write for one and a half hour, if a similar topic comes or some of these examples can also be used in other examples. So that will only happen when you write. So that is my mandatory for every video discussion. Okay. Yes. Do you have any questions? And I really appreciate those who wrote. I will evaluate your copies sooner than later. If you have any questions, do let me know. Next Sunday, I will again post some different topic. We will discuss it on Wednesday and Thursday. Tomorrow, we will discuss one or two PYQ topics so that it will uh, it will not only be totally dynamic topics, right? Any questions? Feel free to discuss, uh, message me. Uh, actually, uh, the, the old link, the link is same, so I haven't mailed it. Every time the same same link for all the 12 classes, the link is same. So I, I will try to mail tomorrow saying the same thing. 
it's really nice grammar needed no definitely not but to an extent readable yes how to prepare for codes do code compilation works it, it, it. It's better to have a have a book uh, for 2025 quotes. And whenever you are thinking, try to incorporate those quotes. Organically, it should be come. Uh, organically, you should be using it. Mugging up won't work. Legible handwriting. Anil, I think I have seen your essay copies. Your handwriting is pretty decent. You should not be worried about legibility. If the topic is not totally understandable, how to do it? Uh, 25 codes. I don't think you will use more than 25 codes if, if you really think about it. So if the topic is not totally understandable, how to do it? Rajini, we will discuss that again. Yeah. Any other questions? Hope all of you are doing fine, preparing well for prelims. We will we will work on the essay sessions more and more, participate more, right? Right? So again. Uh, uh, I don't know what's your name, like in the telegram channel. So again, six copies are pending. I think I will evaluate them. Yeah. Okay, then all of you. Uh, take care. Tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Right, right. Discuss tomorrow. We'll discuss some more topics. All the best. It's always a pleasure to interact with students. Thank you for participating. Have a nice evening. Take care.